Hello, hello to all of our readers and viewers in Taos, the county, and around northern New Mexico. This is Cody Hooks, reporter and assistant editor at the Taos News. Here's a sneak peek at what we're all working on for Thursday's edition of your community newspaper. First up, and one of the biggest stories to impact northern New Mexico in years, law enforcement raided a makeshift compound in a remote area of Amalia in northern Taos County last Friday, arresting two men, three women, and placing 11 children into protective custody with the state. One of the men arrested, Shiraj Abin Wahaj, is accused of abducting his three-year-old disabled son last year. On Monday, the sheriff's office did locate remains of a child during a second search of the property. The remains have been given to the Office of the Medical Investigator to be positively identified. Reporter John Miller will be providing ongoing coverage of this developing story at TausNews.com and, of course, in Thursday's paper. In other law enforcement news, a video of a February traffic stop that quickly escalated has been seen more than 100,000 times since being posted Friday. The short video on Facebook shows New Mexico State police officers busting in a car window and pulling the driver to the ground. The couple were arrested, the charges were dropped, but they were eventually refiled. Now they're coming back to Taos to deal with the courts, and the couple is speaking out against what they see as a far too common pattern in law enforcement. In this week's sports news, Taos is becoming quite the destination for the warm summer months. Our sports editor, Arsenio Trujillo, covered the up and over 10K at the Towski Valley this past weekend, as well as the Zia Big Ride on the Santa Barbara Trail. Check out that coverage, as well as schedules of upcoming school sports, which get underway in the next couple of weeks. In business news, reporter Jesse Moya has a story about the Don Fernando Hotel, which has been closed for about three years. The owner is wrapping up renovations as we speak and eyeing a fall 2018 opening. On the education beat, School in Taos starts on Friday. I hope all of the students out there enjoyed your summer and are ready for more. If you ever want to chat with us over here at the Taos News about a career in journalism, just let us know. For all of you history and civil rights buffs out there, who was Miguel Trujillo Sr.? If you don't know, we'll enlighten you with a story from the Santa Fe New Mexican. Also in Lifestyles this week, how did the Taos Farmers Market begin? Find out all about that, plus the latest from the Taos Native Plant Society, and some tips for keeping your trees healthy and well-fed during the drought. In Tempo, this week's cover story profiles the unconventional art exhibit titled The New Dadaist at Greg Moon Gallery. In addition, we've got part two of our focus on the late Taos artist Roy Ragner, whose work can be seen at the Blumenshine Museum. Plus, we've got coverage of the Dog Days Benefit Concert for Stray Hearts Animal Shelter, the Big Fish Out of Water Festival at the Mothership, and a review of the new movie, Christopher Robin. In the weather this week, we've got thunderstorms brewing on the horizon. Flash floods are always a concern with heavy rain. So if you ever have the choice, do not drive through moving water. And here is what's up in the astrology. Uranus stationed retrograde in Taurus. Uranus disrupts, but in a beautifully creative way. And Taurus, ever the Earth's sign, helps ground it all out. So if you're feeling a little frazzled by the astrology, take a walk. And also there's an eclipse happening, happening later this week, so seriously, take the walk. And that'll do it for this week. As you know, papers go on sale Thursday and are just $1. Whenever you buy a paper, you're helping finance quality journalism all across Taos County. And I just want you to know how much we appreciate that. Thank you everyone for supporting a free and independent press right here in Northern New Mexico. Bueno, bye.